Welcome friends. In this question of the day problem, it was given that point C lies inside a given right angle and points A and B lie on its sides. So in this figure, if you see, this is point C, which is within a right angle and O is the right angle here and A and B are on the points on the sides. You have to prove that the perimeter of triangle ABC is not less than twice the distance OC where O is the vertex. So this is OC, right? So basically what you need to prove, you need to prove that perimeter of the triangle is nothing but AB plus BC plus CA is greater than 2OC. Okay. So this is what is the question. Now let us see how to do it. Now in this question, two underlying concepts are used. One is transformation 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 that is and which transformation we are using we are using reflection so reflection of a point around a line and second is uh, sum of the sides of of a quadrilateral is sum of sum of three sides of a three sides of a quadrilateral is greater than the fourth side fourth side this is for convex quadrilateral let us now understand the solution so hence the steps are reflect point c along x and y axis so this is x axis this is y axis and i am reflecting point c this is the point c here point c to uh, along x and y to get c dash c double dash and c dash okay and then complete the rectangle c dash c c double dash c triple dash okay so if you see this these four points together will be will be forming the rectangle why because here is where the transformation principles are used so if you reflect clearly uh, c dash c is perpendicular to c c dash isn't it if you see this is 90 degrees this also is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees so hence what will happen is that from transformation philosophy we know that c dash p that is this side is equal to pc because c is being reflected so image distance will be equal to object distance similarly cq will be equal to QC double dash, right? And when you join C, C double dash, you will get this as 90 degrees, right? Similarly, this is 90 degrees and this also is 90 degrees. So basically C, C dash and C, C double dash are perpendicular to each other. So when they are perpendicular to each other, I can complete the rectangle. So hence this angle is also 90 degrees. Okay, now uh, join OC dash and OC double dash and OC triple dash all from point O are joined. Now, if you consider these two triangles, I'm going to highlight the triangles CP. So this triangle, these two triangles, if you take, this is one and this is the another one. Okay, if you see, they are congruent triangles. Why? Because PC dash, PC, this, this side is equal to this side and uh, this is 90 degree and this side is common op is common so hence they are congruent that means what all inferences will draw so oc dash this side this side will be equal to this side first of all that and then theta 1 will be equal to theta 2 isn't it similarly if you take uh, these two triangles which two o q q c dash and o q c triple dash if you take these two triangles again in that also you can prove these two triangles to be congruent and theta 3 will be equal to theta 4 and OC will be equal to OC double dash. What I'm saying is OC will be equal to OC double dash, right? So now if that is so, um, so you can see from this, we can say that theta 1 and is equal to theta 2 and theta 3 is equal to theta 4, but theta 2 plus theta 3 was 90 degrees, isn't it? theta 2 plus theta 3 is 90 why because it was given this was point o was a 90 degree 
and now theta 2 is equal to theta 1 so I can replace theta 2 by theta 1 and theta 3 by theta 4 why because it's given here and here so hence theta 1 plus theta 4 is also 90 degrees that means all angle put together theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 plus theta 4 is 180 degrees that means this line is straight line c dash o c double dash c dash o c double dash is a straight line right now so and o is also the midpoint clearly if c this is uh, you know because o c dash is equal to o c is equal to o c double dash so o is the midpoint of c dash c double dash now c dash c double dash happens to be the diagonal of rectangle a given rectangle right c dash c c double dash c triple dash so of this rectangle which rectangle if i take this rectangle this whole this one so c dash c triple dash is a diagonal similarly o is the midpoint and you know if you join o c triple dash then O, C triple dash and C all will be collinear only. Why? Because O is the midpoint and the diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other. Right? So that means if O, O will lie on both the diagonals. Right? O will lie on both the diagonals. So O is already on C, C dash. Sorry, C dash, C double dash. So O will be lying on the other diagonal as well. So this is also the diagonal where O is the midpoint. Okay? Now so uh yeah so now in quadrilateral c dash a b c which quadrilateral i am now taking i am taking this quadrilateral this one this whole this whole this quadrilateral i am taking right in this quadrilateral the three sides that is which three sides i am taking let us say this yeah so this these three sides this c dash a then C dash A, then A B, then B C double dash, and then finally C double dash C dash. Okay, I'll draw again C double dash C dash in this triangle uh, quadrilateral C dash A. So point A is here. So C dash C dash A plus A B plus b c double dash is greater than c dash c double dash that's what we have written here this one now c dash a is clearly a c if you see c dash a a is equal to a c we have just proved for triangles to be quadrilateral so c anyway c is the reflection c dash is the c reflection of c so ac dash will be equal to ac similarly bc this bc will be equal to bc double dash isn't it so that means i can replace c dash a by ac let ab be ab as it is and bc dash can be replaced by bc adding all together we'll get this is more than the fourth side that is c dash c double dash so that's what i have written now in a rectangle I can replace one diagonal by the other diagonal. So other diagonal is C double dash, C triple dash C, correct? And C triple dash C, if you see the figure, C triple dash C in the figure is nothing but twice of OC. Why? Because O happens to be the midpoint of the two bisecting diagonals. So hence I can replace C dash, C triple dash C by 2AC and hence the result, right? So perimeter of the triangle is greater than 2AC.